scorpion? Tse'ego will lead you down the path of lies, where you will find the deeper truths. But beware, for he possesses great power. You speak Navajo? What, are you kidding? Navajo was the one code the Germans couldn't crack during World War II. I just had to learn it. But what was all that about? Tse'ego? Who knows? Probably trying to spook me into buying a blanket. Fort Armstrong is five miles due east. Since there's nothing else in this desert, I'm betting Godzilla's heading there. But what could possibly be drawing him to an army base? The urge to be all that he can be. A plane crashed here recently. That metal has not yet oxidized. Then where's the rest of the wreckage? Or any tracks? A tread. Someone has taken great pains to remove the evidence. Evidence of what? Ow! It's an echo. Still with us, kiddo? To ego. To ego. I, I shot to ego. Okay, okay, but easy, easy. The mud's still drawing out the toxins. To ego took them. After their plane crashed. Whoa, whoa, hey, where you going? Stay in bed. Any sign of our Jolly Green Giant? Not yet, Major. But based on his last known trajectory, there were two smugglers, and your soldiers picked them up. My soldiers? He was stung by a scorpion this morning. He's been going on like this for hours. Where are the little scorpion people? What was in that mud exactly? We have to help them, Hefe. You have to believe me. Okay, take it easy, Randy. If a plane had crashed in front of you, we would have seen it too. It was a fever dream clearly inspired by the fact that we were looking for evidence of a plane crash. Major, if Godzilla is heading for Fort Armstrong, we're gonna need your help to keep the local military from overreacting. Not a problem, worm guy. CO there's an old friend of mine. Hey, Major Anthony Hicks. You here for a rematch? Sorry, Chuck, no time for a round of golf today. You heard of heat? Who hasn't? Nico Totopoulos, right? What can I do you for? Any idea what's drawing Godzilla toward this location? Well, isn't that your area of expertise? Not to mention yours, Tony. You are supposed to be the Pentagon's point man on mutations. Supposed to be? No offense, but you've been chasing Godzilla's tail for quite some time now. Why is that thing still breathing? That's, uh, that's rather complicated, Colonel. <laughs> Where did you take the smugglers? Who told you about that? And what about first wave? <clears throat> I'm late for a briefing. We'll talk again. You mind warning me next time one of your people wants to alienate my friends? Don't you see what happened? Your buddy shut down on us when Randy mentioned first wave. It means something. Alert! Biohazard! Biohazard! Oh. What's that smell? Well, looks like the fluid is a nasty mix of acetic acid, hence the vinegar odor, formic acid, and chlorine, with absolutely no traces of chlorophyll. This was produced by an animal, not a plant. Any left for Nigel? Uh, using the fluid sample, Nigel should be able to home in on the creature's olfactory signature. Cheers! Ah, he's picking up a scent! Fresh tracks. Really weird fresh tracks. Then, there is a mutation out here. Nigel! Wait! 
Restricted area. End of the line, worm guy. I'll get Colonel Tarrington to send his people out here. Hey, where do you think you're going? Must be what the acid's for. To breach an enemy's hide. <laughs> 